Okay, and the last person for our community segment tonight, you may actually recognize already. His name is Mike Howe. He is one of the original volunteers, as Dylan said, of the podcast. You're a web developer by by day, right? But you That's actually right. do a lot of things. So I didn't even know you were a web developer <laughs> until you told Most me tonight. Most people don't. I, yeah. My boss doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so if you're wondering kind of what Mike gets up to in his spare time, he does a lot of different things. Like, so he's kind of a jack of all trades, I would say, about night. Well, uh, master of none. Unless, <laughs> unless you count baiting. Oh, really? Oh. Uh -oh. Hey, uh -oh. <laughs> Okay, so um, another fact that you might not know as well is that Mike was actually responsible for creating our intro song that plays at the start and end of our podcast. That's right, yeah? Yes. Well, uh, that song was actually written for the uh, Downtown Project uh, Arts Contest back in 2012. And then we later on repurposed it for the theme song for the podcast. Yeah, it's very cool, and we're very thankful, and we haven't even changed it. We love no, it we so much, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you were doing rapping on that song, right? Yes, I was. Uh, can you give us a rendition of how the song goes? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, really? You're what do you think, guys? That? Yeah, yeah. With the hashtag. <laughs> so thank you for creating that rap song. Oh, it's no awesome. problem. You know, um, when I made that, that was back in 2012. It's been like a year and a half. And uh, so much has changed downtown. And there's so many new businesses, so many new startups. Like, you guys wanted, like, a new one? A new version? Yeah. 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 yeah? All right. All right. You know, um, Maybe like uh, you know, get some uh, midlife marauders on that track. You know, maybe <laughs> some Sea Dog, Spadoni. Get yeah, some uh, local uh, some uh, Vegas artists. My boy, uh, New Day and uh, Ulysses oh. from TNGMG. You know. I'm super excited about yes. this happening. Let's do it. All right. So just on top of everything else you're doing, which is obviously you don't do anything at all, <laughs> you have another project in the works that we're going to be previewing today, right? So why yeah. did you tell me about that? So Because um, you're a filmmaker too, I, I hear. <laughs> I, uh, I dabble. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm doing this new project where uh, you know, I want to go behind the scenes and show you know, everyone uh, what, what you know, goes on like, at different startups at, um, you know, or just in the general community. And I thought, you know, like, what better way to premiere uh, this weekly web series than to um, come to the podcast and film a planning session? And because people don't realize how difficult it is to put one of these episodes on. So I wanted to just kind of capture that moment and show you guys uh -oh. uh, how <laughs> Dylan uh, got help to plan for this special Tony episode. We had some good ideas, I thought. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so you know that the next episode is our 50th episode, and we've worked really hard at this. We have Tony Shea coming on as a guest, so I asked you to do something really, really special. Um, if you guys can show me what ideas you've been thinking about that really could make this the best episode ever, I'd love to hear. So we've had all these ideas surrounding llamas. What if there's a celebrity llama? You know, one that's famous llama? in the llama community. That's a good one. There's also, if you remember Monty Python's Holy Grail, Ralph the Wonder Llama, the Mexican Whooping Llama, you might be able to get some of these booked. What if we brought in a llama, we were dressed up like in a suit and tie, you know, really cute, and we called it Barack Llama. <laughs> <laughs> what if we what contracted with, uh, with a local tattoo shop, and in, in honor of Tony, uh, offered like free core value tattoos to anybody who walks in that room. Oh! <laughs> So I heard he has lots of cats. Is this true, like 10 of them or something? 15. 15, okay, yeah. So the day before he shoots, it's uh, answer your cat's questions day. It's really true. So maybe we get his cats, we bring them in, ask them questions, they ask us questions, and they give us like the insights. <laughs> I mean, who else has that? Susie, can you talk to cats? I can. I know like, R2D2 you can talk to. For example, yeah. meow, 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 means what is it really like to have Tony as an owner? 
So you'd be a great interviewer for the comments. This is, see, I told you, I got the idea. Well, yeah, what if another are going to say something interesting? What if he has like a phone? It's like cat, Tony's cat, going to say interesting things. I mean, come on, you know. If you know how Tony lives this like super glamorous lifestyle? I was thinking as like a joke, we'd give him like a Zappos t-shirt, right? Because he always wears like these like fancy t-shirts, you know? No, he already does that. Wasn't he, he on that? the... He was just on the cover of uh, like Success Magazine or something. We could all sign that and give it to him. <laughs> okay, so if we get a unicorn and then we put like Nike shoes on the unicorn because like Zappos, right? Get, get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we put it on the table because remember we had the penguins there, right? And then they were like super popular. But this time we make sure that the unicorn doesn't poo on the table because the penguins pooed on the table. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be right. And then Tony Shea can sit on top of the unicorn and then he can just be like looking down on you like, like, like he's the king of like shoes and everything. You know? What the poo the unicorns have? Rainbow it's and rainbow cupcakes. Rainbow, sure. I would really, I think that'd be cool. We could give the what cupcakes that the rainbow unicorn poos out to the audience. Mm, they could win a prize. Yes, you can win like a cupcake the that rainbow. the unicorn poos but out. But even if it tastes like a cupcake, it came out of it. Anus. And we do that and we give him shots of Fernet, right? Because he likes Fernet. I know that. Because yeah. I've had shots of Fernet. So that's. That probably could have, could have played out better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they would just break. Next week we can try to re. Convene. Those are some of the worst ideas I've ever heard. The cat, no, the cat was good. Thank Who you. Good? Thank you. Whoever started the cat thing kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm leaving. That's the truth. Yeah, you know what? Meow. Meow, meow, meow. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't, meow. I, don't, I, don't, I do know what that one I know what that one means. Are we, are we getting more beer? <laughs> We're out of beer. Not till next week. We're out of beer. <laughs> So I feel like you ruined our secret of, you know, the amount of effort and, and <laughs> amazing ideas that never make it into the show. I, I think some of those ideas should make it into the show, honestly. Okay. Well, you so. never know. We haven't done this segment yet, so yeah. I think Tony's looking pretty <laughs> nervous right now. <laughs> he doesn't know what's in store yeah. for him, so <laughs> cool. Cue the unicorn. So we have more of these episodes to look forward to, right? Yes. Um, I, I plan on making one, like, you know, every week. And, you know, if, if you guys are, you know, downtown, like, you want me to come through to your uh, startup or, uh, you know, anything, I can come with my camera and, like, we'll just shoot something like that. So um, how can people get in contact with you if they want um, If you know my name, then you have my number. It's uh, Erica. code. <laughs> it's Erica 562 Mike Cow. Oh, nice. I didn't actually know that either. I'm finding out so many things about you tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. 